Hello everybody, it's me Reena. You're watching Rachel's Network. This is part 7 of Scratch Tutorial and today I'm going to teach you how to design a character of your own if you don't have a character of your choice in the Scratch. Okay, so do watch the video until the end because we will be doing something interesting out of this character design by us. So without wasting time, let's move on to the video. <laughs> So here I have opened my scratch offline. So for creating a character, we all know that whenever we want to paint something, we have to go to sprite and click here that is paint. So for today's session, I don't want this cat as my sprite. So I'll just delete this. So what I need to do is go to that sprite, that is choose a sprite, go to that section and select the painting option. Okay, so I selected the paint. So I'll get like this something that is I can create costumes over here. Okay, so today I'm planning to create maybe an animal. We can draw a dog maybe. So for that, I'll first take a circle. Okay, so these are few items that we have on this. That is uh, uh, this toolbox that we have. So like you have an MS Paint here also you have certain tools present. Okay, so you can just scroll on that to see the names that is this is select. This is reshape this is brush this is eraser fill the color if you want to write some text you can use this this is for a straight line this is for a circle and this is for a rectangle or a square anything you can draw out of this so let's take a circle to draw the face okay so i'll take the circle just drag over here like this so we will get a circle so these uh, options you have in your ms paint also similarly how you drag a circle over there you can drag over here also so i have dragged here i have a circle over here now for the eyes what you have to do so this is already selected so just click over here so that the selection goes off again click on the circle over here and then i would like to draw one eye select outside because that is over now again click on the circle and you have to again make a small eye over here okay so i have made two eyes over here so the size and all you can reshape as you want okay now if i want a nose to be created so what i will do is again i will take the square okay i'll take the square so you might be thinking with the square i how i will create a nose so i'll just make like this here we have a reshape option so just click on the reshape option and then you can just modify it however you want see i modified it and where you want you can just move it like this okay so click on that and move it like this so i want my nose to be like this so i got my face ready if you want to change the color of this face just click on the circle that you have go to this fill click on the fill and whichever color so i want something darker shade so maybe some orange i'll go first and then for the brightness maybe this brownish color okay i'll select this as my face and then for the years what we'll do we don't you might be thinking how i'll draw the year correct so for that again take the circle okay i'll draw a circle like this and then what i can do is go to this reshape option okay then i'll just reshape that is like this maybe okay and this one over here like this i want my year to be like this so i have only one year so the other one size also i want it to be same so what you can do is just click on this year okay just click on this then you have a that is the select option is there so after clicking this just click on the select option you will get a copy over here click on copy and just again click on paste okay so here you can see that i got two years of same size and now you can see this this second year is pointing towards the right so i want to just flip it so to flip it vertically that is upside down you can use vertical and to flip it left or right you can use flip horizontal option so i'll use flip horizontal see i got two years of different uh, directions okay now i will move this years over here both the years i brought over here but i want this years to be back side of the face so what you can do is click on the year and here you have an option to send it back or front so click on back see the year went back again for this year also i'll send it to back see i got my years over here okay so years are ready now for the body again we can click on the circle 
and I will create a round circle like this and place it over here again this is on the top of this so what you can do is send this to back okay now I don't want the shape to be like this so what you can do select on this body part okay so select option select this body part and then click on reshape all right so I want this shape to be somewhat like this okay so my dog's body I want to be somewhat like this so I gave the shape like this now I want legs for my dog so again what you can do is take this circle okay so just select this again and copy this paste it so that you have two legs all right so if you want to reshape it somewhat click on this select on reshape and then you can change the shape as needed okay then you can place it over here and if you want to send it to the back click on back so this is all as per your needs however you want you can just create so this is what i'm thinking my my own creativity okay so maybe you have you are more creative so you can create good have some good output of your creativity okay so now if you want to create a tail i'll take the circle again all right and then i'll click on this reshape option and i will sorry yeah i will create a tail see i can shape it like this i will take this tail and keep it over here and i want it to be back so i will send it back see i have got my shape of the tail over here see my dog is ready so this is how we can create a sprite now you can see here that the complete sprite as a dog is ready over here i can give it a name of my wish so i want my dog to be named as puppy so i'll give the name as puppy okay so i hope how to create a character is clear to everyone so this is just how to create a dog you can create a cat an ice cream or anything of your choice with your own imaginative ideas okay so now out of this i will show you how to create a simple animation that is when i click on each part that part has to go and attach to the body of the dog so let's see how that can be so if you want to create a game like just what that is when we click on each part of the dog that particular part will go and attach to the body okay so the body will be fixed and all the other parts will go and attach towards the body so for that what we need to have is we need to have each part as a separate sprite correct so let's create each part as separate sprite okay so for that just click on paint so first i'll create the body all right so for that what we need to do is go to the puppy that we initially have and just select the body that is the bottom and the head part we will select that is a complete body all right so for that what you need to do is you can see when i click on the bottom part and then click on the head you can see that both are not getting uh, like selected together so what you need to do is first select the bottom part then you have a shift key on your keyboard right just keep pressing on the shift key and while you are pressing it select the head part also okay so i selected both the head and the bottom I, I haven't selected the eyes and the nose so that will come separately in the face part okay so i have selected this and then just click on copy and then go to the blank sprite and just paste it over here see we have got the head and the body so we can give the name as body so i have renamed it as body next what i want is I want to create the ears as a separate sprite so I'll go to paint and then select the first puppy that we have created and let's select the ears again what you have to do is keep the shift key pressed and then select both copy it and in the next sprite just paste it rename it as ears okay so I have got three now next I'll create the tail so for that again go back to the puppy select the tail copy it and bring it over here that is paste it and rename it as tail okay so i renamed it as tail next i will create the legs so again go to paint select the puppy and then select both by clicking the shift key then copy it and then paste it over here so now we have the legs and then last i want the face that is the face that is eyes and the nose so for that again go to paint then from the puppy select all these so shift click on that and then 
click that is select all the parts and then copy it and finally paste so we have the face part over here and you can give the name as face okay so i have given the name as face over here so you can see that i have created all the separate body parts over here so i don't want the complete puppy to be visible here so in the previous videos we have already discussed what is the use of show and hide so i'll just hide this puppy okay the complete puppy so now we have only the different parts so you can see that it currently looks as a complete puppy because we have kept it together so now you can see that each part is separate so you can just separate it that is to the towards a random position you can just take it okay so i kept everything to a random position okay so random position we just kept it and then what you need to do is that is for each part you have to give some code that, so that it gets attached towards the body so the body that is this is the main thing when we click on the body what has to happen is this body has to go to the center of the stage okay i want something like that to happen if you want to give a backdrop you can select a backdrop so some light color we will give a blue color okay so whichever backdrop you want you can select okay so now i what i want is this puppy's body okay so let's go to the code section this puppy's body whenever this flag is clicked this body has to come to the center position all right so let's check that is when the flag is clicked that we have in the events i'll take this okay so when the flag is clicked what has to happen is my body has to come to the center so where do we have this code that is in the motion we have something like go to x and y right so if i want this body part to be over here that is center or somewhere over here so you can see that 12 and 7 okay if you want to move it more 23 9 whatever okay so you will get this over here just take this and keep it over here okay so i'll just take it back over here i got the center that is 23 9 as the center okay so that is wherever you keep it otherwise the center is 0 0 you can directly give that okay next so this is when the flag is clicked this body has to come to this particular position that is x 23 and y as 9 okay now when each part is clicked that is when the year is clicked that is the sprite is clicked now i'm not telling when the flag is clicked when the sprite is clicked what this has to happen it has to go and attach to the sprite's body okay so for that what we need to do is select the events we have when the sprite clicked right so select that when the sprite is clicked what it has to do is it has to that is we'll go to motions it has to go to a random position but here we don't have to take it to a random position what we need to do is it has to go and attach where to the body so we have different that is mouse pointer puppy body tail sprite one face so different things we have so what you need to do is you have to attach this to the body okay so i want wherever this particular year is clicked i want this part to go and get attached to the body okay so this same thing has to be happen to each and every part that is present over here so you need not write this code for every single sprite what you can do is just drag it okay just click it drag it after dragging it just keep it that is on the first tail so everything became blue so when you select the tail you can see that the tail will dance so so just leave it over here now check whether it went to the tail yes you have this code in the tail now again select is select it drag and drop it in the next sprite that you have it went just check yes you got it over here next again drag and drop it in the face thing also okay so i'll drop it here so check so in the face also i'll just drag and drop it that is here okay so we have on the face also so for each part we got this particular code so you need not write that same code if you have to uh, have the same code for each of the uh, available sprites then you can just drag and drop it on that particular sprite okay so after dropping this let's check whether this particular thing is happening or not so when the flag has been clicked so this is where you can enlarge your screen so i'll just click over here and enlarge all right so when the flag is clicked just check whether the body is coming to x23 and y7 see it came to the center okay body came towards the center now let's uh, select each and every body parts let's check whether it is going and attaching to the 
a uh, body part or not so tail yes then the ears the leg and the face that is eyes and the nose but you can see here that the eyes and nose is not visible why so for that we have to give one code okay so what is that is this face that is the face when the sprite is clicked it has to go to the body but we want it to be present where in the front layer so here you have two layers this we have already learned in the previous video please do check the link is given in the description box below so that we have in the looks so in from the looks what you have to do is so the looks video you can check the link is given in the description okay so from the looks what you have to do is go to the front layer so you, you have different layers so i wanted to come to the front layer whenever we click on that i wanted to come to the front layer okay so when i click on the face let's check whether it is coming yes it came to the front layer so whichever part if you want this ear to come to the front layer you can give this particular code in wherever you want whether it is back or front so from here you can select front or back okay so eyes and nose i want in the front layer so i selected front so if you want uh, to do something extra to this program that is if you want to display like uh, this is this particular body part and then that particular body part has to go and attach to that body then what you have to do is that is first let's select this body so this body before it goes to the center position it has to say that i am the body part of the puppy so it will say i am the body part of the puppy okay body part of the puppy so i want this to be displayed over here for two seconds and then it will go to that particular position similarly I want that is this years in this years what it has to do is it has to say I am the years of the puppy okay so it will say I am the years of the puppy all right so this has to be displayed and then it will go and attach to the body part so similarly this tail what it will say it will say I am the tail of the puppy okay this one will say I am the tail of the puppy okay so similarly you can do it for the rest of the sprite that is this is the leg so this one will say so you can type completely so i don't want to make this video lengthy so i'll just type leg okay you can write that i am the leg of the body and then finally that we have is the face so it can say that i am the face of the puppy okay so now let's execute it and see so let's start that is whenever the flag is clicked i am the body part of the puppy and it will come to the center position now if i'll click on the ears it will say i am the ears of the puppy and it will come and attach on the ears now you can see that the ear is in the front position if you want to send it to the back what you have to do you have to give one simple code that is go to back layer okay and next if i'll click on the face it will say face and it will get so here you can see that i gave a code that come to the front layer so that's why it's present in the front layer now for the tail i'm the tail of the puppy and it will go and attach to the tail so this also you can see it is in the front layer this has to be actually in the back layer right so here you can select the back layer and finally we have the legs so it will say i'm the leg of the puppy and it will go and attach as the leg of the puppy interesting so all the little scratches watching this video don't you think that this was really interesting and don't you think you have to make something interesting out of this so why not create a respiratory system or a solar system or something else that you are currently studying in your science so and one more thing if you want to create something interesting and send it to me you can send it in the email id given below it is also given in the description box below so you can find my email id over there you can send it to me and your video that is the particular thing that you have created will be displayed in my upcoming video so meet you all up in the next video until then it's bye from rena